Why hello there guys, it is Query Afro here bringing you another Train Simulator t uh, 2013 video. This will be probably my last 2013 video until the new release 2014 video out uh, video will come out and uh, be sure to stay here on this channel because I'll be definitely bringing you like a, a look at the new AI and uh, a UI, what am I saying AI? Uh, the new UI and actually giving you some um, rundown of how the new game feels. It probably won't be that different. Obviously, there's some uh, graphical enchantments or whatever. But anyway, welcome to this video. Uh, commentary's back on. People are saying that they want more commentary, uh, less of the gameplay, full gameplay ones. But I will throw one of two of them once in a while or whatever. But more commentary as you guys seem to like it more. Uh, before I start the video, uh, I'm pleased to announce that I have some more coupons. Uh, not for Season Motion 2, but actually for Train Simulator. And instead of actually uh, for the game, I'm having some uh, DLC coupons that um, you guys can win. Uh, I think I'm going to give out one per video, or it might get uh, two, because they do all run out, I think, at the 31st of October. So I think maybe I'll give out two per video. I'll give out, um, yeah, I'll give out, I think, two per video. I think that would be fair enough. All you need to, uh, first of all, let's just break down what uh, these coupons are, and then I'll tell you how you can get them. Uh, these are DLC coupons. Uh, you have, uh, let me just run them through, through down. They'll pop up on the screen to show you what exactly coupons I have to give away. Uh, uh, first of all, there's a 20% off coupons, which you can get 20% off Marius Pass, Horseshoe Curve, Munich to Augsburg, uh, Portsmouth Direct Line and West Coast uh, Main Line. Those are the 20% off on the DLC route. Uh, there's also 25% off for uh, uh, for some trains from some locos. Uh, first one's the A4 uh, Pacifics, the Baldwin Centipede, the BNSF GP382-2, uh, the DBBR Class 232 and the ICE-1. So you can get 25% all of those locos or 25% off of all of those uh, route to DLCs. So if you want to be in, uh, in a chance of winning uh, any of the, um, because I have quite a lot of them, I have plus 30, so they've given me quite a lot for some reason. I, d I probably won't use any of them, so I want to give them away, obviously. So if any of you guys have Train Simulator um, here, if you want to win the DLC, um, the the coupon, uh, the coupon for the DLC, all you need to do is just comment comment in the section you want the twenty five percent or the twenty percent off, uh, uh, which one like uh, Maria's Pass or etc. Just tell me which one you want, uh, which route or which loco you want, and uh, I'll pick one. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it randomly, but I probably I'll probably pick one if it uh, like because I don't know if there's going to be a lot of you that want some of these coupons. So I'll see what happens. I might pick it randomly. I might pick it myself. But anyway, those are those are all of the coupons you can pick out of uh, pick out of um, to uh, for me to give away. So uh, yeah, uh, comment down below, uh, and you might be in a chance of winning a coupon for either twenty percent off uh, one of these routes I mentioned and twenty five percent off for one of those locos I mentioned. So. Stay tuned, I'll be giving two away each video I do for Train Simulator 2014 and 2013, even though this is my last 2013 video. Anyway, let's get on with this route. Uh, it is, I think it's called Glasgow 2014, the scenario. I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out on the Steam Workshop if you want to play it. So, let's continue. Uh, it said, I think it said something about Google Afternoon Drive. It just tells you the normal kind of um, shit you need to know. Okay, so we are... Uh, one car driving a, a free carriage 170. We're starting off here at uh, uh, Glasgow Central platform of the ground park. Let's uh, let's get the lights working on. Let's uh, okay. Well, we can. I think we can. Yeah. Let's let off. Let's let off the passengers first. So uh, you go the way. Oh, they didn't put the destination the sign in the scenario. I don't like uh, creators that do that. Like, come on, like, not in service, really. It doesn't give the oh, okay, some AI. That's good. It doesn't give the effect if it says not in service. It kind of feels that you're driving a dead train. Oh, great. That's a six carriage. Excellent. So I don't know what we're doing. Um, uh, I don't know what destination we're going to because uh, I didn't read it properly. So um, don't doubt me. I, we're, go we're going somewhere. Um, so I think let's just check. We are going to Glasgow Central, and uh, we started obviously here from Glasgow. So, uh, we're doing, I think, a loop, so we're going to Bright, uh, Bridgetown and Dalmarnock, I 
if I'm seeing this right, and then back to Glasgow uh, Central. So let's head off. Let's go. Ready to, to, to get out of here. And that and that sign does bother me, the not in service sign. Like just a little bit. I hate when creators do that. Like, come on. Just put that what destination it's going to. Really, it's it's so simple to do. Anyway, there my train there's there, there goes my train. And there goes the other train, let's go back into the cab. Right, uh, our next station is our Argly Street. I, can't, I don't know how to pr pronounce most of these stuff in these uh, type of games. Probably because these are Scottish names, so I'm not fluent in the Scottish. Scottish. I, I don't want to do my accent of Scottish, please. Please don't hail me. I don't want to uh, discriminate anyone or, or t uh, take. Uh, I don't want to offend any Scottish people that might be watching my video. Right. Can we talk about um today is uh, a decent day weather in london is a bit i don't know it's a bit iffy uh it, it's basically like yesterday was really weird it was cold in the morning it was really foggy in the morning and then all of a sudden it turns really warm and it's just we're having that kind of weird weather that kind of weather where you it's it's kind of trans uh, it's, we're kind of transforming into autumn but it doesn't know. It, it doesn't. It doesn't want to make it up its mind. It sometimes goes cold. It sometimes goes warm. I don't know. And that's one of the things why I hate about the English climate. Is it kind of get over the few years. It's been just getting really fucked up and messed up. Like before, it was kind of like oh, it was cold and then it was warm. Like now, it's like cold and hot and it's just all messed up. So we are at um, Ardley Street. If that's how you pronounce it. SPT Rail. Lovely, I love how the door's close. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's go. Do a little bit of a horn. Watch our train go. Also, guys, definitely, I hope you guys. Um, like, I don't know if people are getting these coupons, uh, because Steam have been giving me so much, like, uh, they gave me 33 of these train simulator coupons for some odd reason. I don't know why. I don't know if everyone's got that, so this is, like, because, um, with the Cities in Motion one, they, they just gave it to me, and so I just, I did a giveaway for it on my, um, uh, on one of my Cities in Motion 2 videos, so they gave me 33 coupons for Train Simulator 2013 or 2014. Uh, they're compatible in 2014 as well if you want to know so what the hell I'm not going to use all of them so I'm just going to give them away so definitely as I said in the beginning of the video if you're definitely interested in getting one of these coupons just uh, leave a comment which one you want remember there's a 20% off ones for the routes that is the, that is the Marius Pass, Horseshoe Curve, Munich to Augsburg, Portsmouth Direct Line and West Coast Main Line or 25% off uh, some of these locos that you can uh, you can get 25% off, uh, you can get a 25% coupon off uh, the A4 Pacifics, uh, the A4 Pacifics, Baldwin Centipede, BNSF GP382, DBBR Class um, class free, 232, uh, and the Ice One. So a good, good variety of things you can get there. I definitely like uh, it's it's good. So it's, you're not going to get a massive amount of, but it's, it's something. So if you guys want it, just you know what to do. Comment it down why you would want them and which one do you want. Just say I want 20% of uh, this route or this loco, and uh, yeah. And then I'll be giving away two in the next Train Simulator video I'll be doing, which will probably be my first ever video on Train Simulator 2014. <sighs> so we are now approaching Bridgeton. That's how you say it. I'm, that's what I think. How it's pronounced. And uh, ooh, we need to break. I don't uh, personally. I don't like. Um, I don't like driving diesel locos for some reason. That's just my kind of uh, preference. I just don't enjoy driving them as much as electrics. But I have nothing against them. I still think they're pretty. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. 
nothing like, not, like it's not like I don't like them, it's just I prefer driving electrics for some reason and even though probably like diesels are probably better trains, like they're probably cooler, they sound cooler, but I don't know, I just prefer electrics uh, in the game, why, game wise I prefer electrics because they accelerate faster uh, they, most electric locos in this game have a, a bigger top speed than the uh, diesels and also I find that the diesel braking is a little bit sludgy just a little bit because obviously with electric um, because with electric uh, it's, uh, it's much more responsive than diesel uh, and uh, some electrics, okay, there's some electrics that I really don't like, like uh, the class, uh, oh god, god, oh god, I can't remember, uh, the uh, Southwest train, um, the 450s, yes, the 450s, I really hate the 450s, the blue uh, Southwest trains, uh, yeah, they are 450s, the white one's class 444, uh, the, no, sorry, the red is 450, uh, I mean the class 455, no, the 455 is the red ones, the older ones, and the new one is the 450. Well, anyway, the blue Southwest trains, I really hate the braking on that. I don't know if anyone else kind of feels the same with that. Like, when you drive one of those uh, electric units, that the braking is ridiculously, ridiculously inaccurate. It's, it feels so, it takes so long to brake over such a long distance. And uh, it, you, you have to probably brake, like, a few miles back, because... If you go into a near station at say 50 or whatever, you're, it, it's going to take ages. Like really, it's going to just take ages. Like and then the class 44, uh, the 444, it literally breaks immediately. It's such a good break time. Okay, so we're entering here Dalmar Dalmarnock. Oh, we might overrun. We might overrun. No, we won't. No, we won't. We just clipped it in time. That's how you do it. But the doors weren't open at the front. And even at the... Oh! But... Oh, wow. Well, it told me that i um, Well, actually, to be honest, in real life it would open, so... You know. Some of these uh, platforms in this game, for some reason, they don't, they don't open. Even though you are blatantly on the platform, for some reason, I don't know why, it's probably some kind of bug or kind of coding that they did that the, that the train actually won't open properly. But anyway, message from Ruffle, uh, Ruffle Glell Control. You are cleared to pass over Ruffle Cord. Northbound service is held in platform, clear junction with all speed. So, let's go. Uh, one thing I do like about diesel units is they actually sound cool when they're except like when they're accelerating. I don't like their acceleration because look at that, it's really just sluggish. But I like the sound, I like the vroom, you know. While with an electric unit you don't really have any feedback from it, you just hear like a little climbing sound or whatever. So definitely a, a diesel units sound way cooler when they accelerate. So I think we're going up here. There's no passenger view, unfortunately, in this uh, loco, which is the Class 170. Unfortunately, I wish they um, would go back to some of their old locos and actually um, uh, and actually f f put add passenger view because there's so many locos that deserve passenger view. Like uh, for the Class 450, going back to it, that doesn't have a passenger view, and neither does the Class 444 or any of the classes that go on the Portsmouth Direct Line. Uh, while the new class 360 that came up with the uh, Great Eastern Railway has a passenger view, so you would think, why wouldn't they update? Um, why wouldn't they update uh, the older ones, which are practically the same train, just basically coated in a different thing, have a pantograph instead of a um, electric shoe? So I don't know. I think these are things that they can actually definitely do for the future. Uh, when they're thinking of like re renovating some of the older stuff to ke keep up there because obviously if this game is going to keep updating keep updating you're going to obviously want to update some of your older stuff to keep in line with the kind of new stuff you're releasing so yeah right now we're, f we're veering off track a bit you can see there's a train over there that's waiting for us and also you can see there's a train right there in front of us that would be if we were going on that line but no we're, ve we're veering off the track 
We need to slow down a little bit. We need to... We can actually... We can look a little bit out of there, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. It's another different livery of um, 170 over there. Definitely taking a nice sharp turn around here. We need to soon slow down for 15 miles per hour. But we're naturally anyway slowing down, so, you know. And also one thing in the new uh, 2014, um, they're going to be definitely emphasizing a lot of... Um, uh, but you're going to have achievements and stuff, which is really pretty cool. So you're going to have like a rating of say like gold, silver, or bronze. So it's definitely they're definitely making it more of a competitive thing in the sense that um, you can't just like you can still go and drive reckless, but not recklessly. I mean like more of a with freedom and like if you do stuff like go off, uh, go up, uh, go above the um, speed limit or whatever. Yeah, sure, you can, you can still do that, but they're making the fact that they want you to drive more professionally in the next game and they want you to take it seriously in the sense that you can get achievements and and you can have like leaderboards and stuff but one thing i'm really pissed off about that they are not including is multiplayer like i i i just don't understand uh as i've already said in previous train simulator videos the uh whatever bullshit um uh add-on multiplayer they did for um for this game where someone starts a scenario and then your friend you invite a friend to complete it that's not multiplayer that's just some bullshit way of saying oh you can play with your friends but not with your friends like initially with your friends so i was wondering why haven't they still thought about making multiplayer for this game because i think this game deserves a multiplayer i would it would be so cool right now as i said in the previous video right now say on this map I'm driving, and say that train that's now approaching me, that's someone else. And if someone wants to join this scenario or whatever, they join it, they start where I started, and uh, maybe they would have to wait because it's busy on the line because maybe there's other players. So it just, the, the signaling would take, um, the signaling would configure itself to, to, uh, to how many players are actually on the map or on the scenario. That's the kind of multiplayer I would want to see with the game. Obviously it's probably... Uh, not, uh, it's probably not, um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing my words, but it's not, uh, it's not seeable, like, uh, I'm losing my words, I'm reusing using my dictionary of words here, but, um, uh, what I'm just trying to say is that it's probably not, it's not that possible for them to do it as soon as yet, because, um, it does take a lot of coding to add multiplayer, proper multiplayer, to a game like this. Or any game that doesn't actually have multiplayer already, there's a lot of coding involved and a lot of changing of stuff. You can't just... This is a very single-player uh, environment, single-player focused environment. Obviously, there's uh, they can't literally just take it and just say, okay, we can make this multiplayer. No, it's, it's probably, uh, probably going to take a, a bit longer. But I hope they definitely do it for the future. So what is it right now? Right now we are we are slowing down for 30 miles an hour. Quite a lot of speed limits on this route, unfortunately. But um, you know that's how uh, that's how uh, train driving is in real life. There's just many speed limits and stuff. You can't just let it all rip. Ah oh, yes, we go. This is the I think yeah. This is the approach into Glasgow Central Station. So. It's not a massively long scenario. Well, it's not. There's not a lot of stations on this scenario, but it's definitely, it's definitely a good scenario. I like it. It um, definitely has some good AI trains in it. Realistic AI trains. While some creators just uh, make a scenario and they don't bother to put any AI in it, which then what's the point of me playing the uh, scenario if I'm just driving by myself? I might as well go and quick drive. And also, that's also another point. Quick drive. Why? haven't they made it so that maybe there is some AI in some quick drive um, instances but all the quick drives that I've done there's no AIs I don't know why like if quick drive was something oh just quickly go in and jump into a train and start driving why aren't there other trains around with me why is it just me <laughs> you know what I mean so we are now on the approach into Glasgow Central and we're going to have to again slow down for a 20 mile uh, limit 
and we can see loads of class 170s coming out of the station or just one. Oh no that's actually one going into the station pretty cool with an allocated platform 6 and we're gonna go in across the, across the tracks getting amber lights still uh, if you guys want to know if you want to play this scenario I'll leave the link in the description uh, which will take you to the steam workshop as I said in the beginning of the video so if you want to play it give it a little test out rate the guy that made it I guess I think this is a pretty good scenario anyway so you know if you want to play it just uh, it'll be the, it'll be in the, in the description the link and um, yeah, if you have Train Simulator, if you have Steam, you have, which everyone should have Steam if, if you play this game or most other games on PC, you can just go into the workshop, download it, it doesn't take much memory, and uh, yeah. So we are entering here 11A, as it's called. We're going to have to slow down again because 15 miles per hour is the uh, limit into the station. Oh wow, this is uh, actually a small platform. Oh, it's right outside. That's pretty cool. So we're going to have to even stop before. We're not even going to go inside into the main part of the station. Oh, we're going to have to slow down. And there we go. Perfect. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Glasgow Central where this train terminates. You can even look at some other trains that are actually coming around. I really, I really do like good AI in a, in a scenario. When I see good AI, it just, it just makes the scenario so much better. It just, it just, it just makes it nicer. And I, 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 I generally do like it. I really do appreciate creators that actually take time with the AI. They don't just make some simple, you know. Anyway, yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little. Because uh, someone, um, people have requested me to do something with Edinburgh to Glasgow. Not, I haven't done the full Edinburgh to Glasgow. I've only done a small uh, section of the Glasgow area. So I'll definitely try and maybe do some um, Edinburgh, actual proper Edinburgh to to, to Glasgow. Anyway, it's uh, ten out of like and whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to win a coupon. 25% off any of those locos that I mentioned or 20% off any of those DLCs I mentioned please leave a comment in the comment section below saying why you want uh, any of it state first what which one do you want you want 20% off which route or you want 25% off uh, which uh, loco and then I'll randomly pick it or I might pick it myself whatever whatever comes to come first I need to see how many people of you want to and how many people participate so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as I said again like and favorite if you want to share with your friends if you want to subscribe if you want to keep uh, up to date with the content I upload in this channel and um, I'll see you in uh, well the next train simulator video will be for tra train simulator 2014 where I'll go have a rundown of the UI etc so um, take care guys and I'll see you in the video bye bye